Hi everyone, Ahmed here and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you a quick trick about Visual Studio. If you have been using Visual Studio to develop ASP.NET web applications, then you might have noticed that you can't access the ASP.NET web configuration where you, have, you could set the rules and membership for specific pages. This option has been removed from the Visual Studio 2015 and the 2013, but it was present in Visual Studio 2012 or earlier versions. So basically that uh, uh, window or the menu was very useful as you could uh, you could simply select the rules and, and the ro roles for specific pages by simply adding them instead of adding the writing down the whole code. But in it, it has been gone since the last two versions so you have to use a workaround. Luckily there is a quick workaround which can be used by any one of you to access that ASP.NET web configuration section of ASP.NET or Visual Studio. So to do so let's show you if it's available or not. If you go to the project it used to be here but it now it's gone. So first of all you have to select the uh, project file or the solution file of your uh, Visual Studio. For me it's Ahmed but it can be different from you. Simply right click it and press properties. Here go to the uh, web section and you will see project URL. Here note down the port which is 64727 for me but it might be different for, me, for you. So we, we are copying it and let's open a quick notepad and paste it. This port we will be using it in further steps so you have to keep note of keep keep it safe so let's close this window and now first of all you have to go the go to the uh, this PC or the file explorer and your windows installation file or where the Visual Studio resides so basically I installed the Visual Studio 2015 on the default location but if you installed it somewhere else you will have to find that folder so basically you have to go to the C files and program files. So basically as you can see I have two program files program files and program files x86. I'm using the 64-bit uh, version of Windows as you can see here so I have got the program files x86 but if you are using the 32-bit you will only see the program files. So I'm using 64-bit so I'm going to program files x86 it depends on you. Open it up and here you will see IIX Express. There are basically two folders. We have to access the Express one. Open it now. The IIS Express is the uh, basically the server which is used to run the uh, ASP.NET files locally on your machine. It is installed by default with the Visual Studio, so you don't have to uh, install it separately. So now let's. Uh, sh you have to press the Shift button and right click anywhere in this folder. As you can see I have opened the uh, contextual menu and I, you can see open command window here option. Press it. Now so basically we have used a small shortcut to access uh, the command prompt in that folder. If or you can uh, alternatively you can open the command form from the run command and use the command uh, commands cd change directory to navigate to the IIS folder. So basically that's that requires a bit of uh, CMD knowledge. So we use the shortcut one. Now coming to the point. So basically you have to use two different commands. I will be uh, posting this in the uh, description of the video as well as the uh, linked tutorial article. So basically you have this uh, command where you have to change uh, two things basically. One in the first one and two in the second command. So I've, as you can see I have got port and port with the square brackets. You have to replace this with the one we use, uh, we saw in the properties window. As you can see we, I was using 64727 but again it can be different for you. So you have to replace the port along with the square brackets with the port of your, you are using. So that's all. Simply copy this command and let's go to the uh, Visual Studio. Uh, CMD or command command prompt and control V. 
as you can see it has automatically uh, done some process and is it is saying enter queue to stop iis express so basically we don't have to uh, stop this so you have to minimize it don't uh, don't close this command prompt window or the i uh, you won't be able to use csv.net web configuration window so let's minimize it for now and now coming to the second command again you have to replace the port with the one you saw in your uh, config uh, in your visual studio project configuration or properties section 64727 for me and now there is a another option path that's really that's where uh, that's the path where your project resides for me it's the default location it's in the documents which is studio 2015 and projects or alternatively you can simply go to the visual studio right click your project and press open folder in file explorer and it will open this the default project uh, folder for me you have to press you can press the address bar and it will let you edit the address simply copy it by right clicking it or using the shortcut key copy and let's go to this command and simply replace this path with the one you just copied and paste it so now let's copy this whole command and go to our uh, web browser okay let's maximize it and let's paste it it should open okay now it requires you to enter your uh, authentication or username and password so basically that's the username and password you are using for your windows i'm using windows 10 so with the microsoft account so i will enter my microsoft account details username and password but if you are using a local account you can simply add the username and password of that and okay i will and i have entered my funds and okay. no so basically that's all your website administration tool or asp.net configuration tool has opened so that's all for now keep visiting us and subscribe us for more awesome videos bye bye see ya